Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today we look at the 10th ranked NBA player of all time, it's Steph Curry. I've seen him before, and we'll see him again, being that he is a current player. Uh, it's uh, we, We're seeing greatness, right? Evolve. We're seeing um, records get broken right in front of our very eyes. Will he become the NBA's top scorer of all time? I don't think so. But you never know. He might be in the league for another five or six years. And uh, look, if he's still draining threes like he has done in the past, not that I'm a huge basketball fan, but I have seen... I mean, when you think of Steph Curry, he's a current player. Look, if you, if, if you watch enough sport, you see Steph Curry draining threes for fun uh, from the logo, etc. And, and sort of, you know, he's... he's um, actually, he's a favorite player of a, a good friend of mine, actually. So if if not... By my doing, certainly by her doing, is the reason why I've sort of got, well, I've watched a wee bit of Steph Curry. Either way, guys, plays for the Golden State Warriors. I think he's got four rings. I maybe, I think he's got, he's got a, he's got, has he got a full hand of rings? Not yet. I think he might have four, four rings, which is something, you know, a, a lot of players can't say. Either way, guys, I'm not saying I know much about him at all. But I am saying that I have seen him play before. I'm going to watch him today until I'm impressed, and you guys are too. So, let's have a wee read. The Shaq of point guards. Now, what does that mean? Just absolute dominant. Dominant. Dominance all over the court of point guards. Okay? Because really, when Shaq was in his prime, he's, he's 7 foot, 320, 330 pounds of basically pure muscle. Ain't no one stopping that. And I assume... They're saying that no one's stopping this guy. While the diesel collapsed defences, Steph expands them. Taking the three-point philosophy of Mike D'Antoni and turning it up a couple notches. I'm not quite sure what that was. Is that taking a three-point from anywhere on the court? Defences have to stay up on him full court, which his handles and elusiveness make impossible to do. He will then pull up from half court and make it 43.5% of the time. He is, without a doubt, the greatest shooter of all time. After becoming the career... Leader in made three-pointers. Shit. Okay, so he's got to be up there as far as all-time scoring leaders are concerned. We're not going to check that here, but I might do that in my own time. Compared to most of the guys on this list, though, Curry was a slow starter. He had issues with his ankles early in his career, forcing us to wait to see the greatness that we caught glimpses of during his time in college at Davidson. Jeez, I, I wouldn't have had a fucking clue where he went to college. Warriors fans booed then-owner Joe... Lakeham on Chris Mullen night because he gave the team to Steph after trading fan favourites Monte Ellis for Andrew Bogut. What? Warriors fans booed the owner on Chris Mullen night. No idea what that is, but either way, booed the owner because he gave the team to Steph after trading fan favourite Monte Ellis for Andrew Bogut. But the thing is, Andrew Bogut is the fucking man, and he's from Australia. Not that I am, I'm from New Zealand, but either way, um, I'm not sure that that sentence actually makes too much sense to me, and it's probably for the fact that I haven't watched too much basketball. Either way, Golden State won their first championship in four decades, three years later. Now he's the first unanimous MVP in league history, which is pretty stupid, but still. And has four rings to go with another MVP. With his latest title, he finally knocked off finals MVP off his checklist after a dominant performance against the Boston Celtics. There's absolutely nothing left for Steph to accomplish, and that's why he ranks in our top 10 list. We're already seeing Steph's impact on basketball as kids start launching from deep, earlier than ever in their young careers. And on the league, because he's, he's got quite a... Um, it's not as if it's a, 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 like a, a classic jump shot from three. It's, it's more so from the chest, isn't it? And if I'm talking complete shit, let me know down in the comment section below. But if I do have something there, also let me know down in the comment section below. It's good for the algorithm. We're already seeing Steph's impact on basketball as kids start launching from deep earlier than ever in their young careers and on the league with NBA teams putting the mid-range jumper out to pasture and fully embracing the three-pointer. Because that's the thing, you know, five feet in, yes, it might seem a bit easier, but if you can just bring it five feet out, you get that extra point that's like... Ugh! For some reason, I could never drain a three. But, um, look, that's going back 15 years. A member of the league's 75th anniversary team, Curry is easily one of the most influential players to lace him up. And with all that in mind, 
we go to YouTube. We go stiff shit curry. Oh, what am I doing here? Stiff curry highlights. Take the first video on the list. And, uh, well, we watch it until we're impressed. They do have a timeout. Decide not if he to shoots it from here. Way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! And he ties That's an overtime. Of the game. That's an Curry. overtime with 0.6 of a second left to win the game. I've got to cut it. I'm really sorry, guys. I've really got to... <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I can't continue watching. That's absolutely ridiculous. And we've got 12 minutes and 53 seconds of, of that kind of thing. So thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. <laughs>